that boy will, mm, about to run up the milk, mm -hmm. turn me up a little, mm. Why do you shoot your shot? I don't care, shoot your shot. This one girl told me, hey, you're not gonna pull me. I'm one of one. What? Right? And then on a late Saturday night, like 3 a.m., car fogged up and I was waxing her doonies. My <laughs> I haven't been in a single street fight since I started boxing. Not a single altercation. A lot of street fights only happen because someone's trying to prove they're not a bitch. You could have just walked away. And boxing taught me that. You want to see me fight? Go check out my Instagram. I haven't felt the urge to want to punch somebody in the face outside of the boxing ring. I don't turn up in every single situation or misunderstanding between another man and myself. I've gone to clubs where dudes have bumped me because I'm a big dude. They see me walking. They just want to test their ego. I say, excuse me, good sir. Have a nice night. And I keep it pushing. So a lot of my fights happened when I was a younger kid who didn't know how to fight, trying to prove he can fight, but really deep down I couldn't fight. Why does bump that missed all of us? Oh! Ew! Dude! What the f Missed the whole crib, bro. We have right now police here again. I'm trying to call you, but you're not here. Yeah, my face is burning right now. Yo, I'm tight right now. It's funny, though. I've been having such a hard time finding you attractive and it's because y'all are wearing chelsea boots instead of tims bro what the f happened to tims like what the f happened to y'all wearing tims let's just let's look each other in the eyes right quick yeah, mm -hmm. like, yeah like look at me brother i'm looking at you i can see the pain in your eyes your father comes to see you in jail yeah. you say to your father you say you're more successful than me. Your father says, why is that? And you say to your father, because you got to raise a family in one home. Yeah. You remember that? I still tell him that. Right. You still tell him that now? Yeah, I don't live in the same house my son lives. Damn. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. That's I bought real. the house they live in. Right. But, well, that don't matter. Wow. You know, that is crazy, man. Some guys grew up, mom and dad, and now they're in a situation because they picked the wrong woman where they got to raise their son or their daughter from a distance. Their kids are going to grow up visiting them. It sucks. Not wanting to date someone just because you're not physically attracted to them. It's <laughs> ugly, phobic, and bigoted. Y'all don't see ugly people as human, and they show. Do you identify as ugly? Born ugly, but I'm trans handsome. You're trolling. Just say you hate ugly people and go. My fiance was far from my type. I fell in love and everything about him eventually. You are an ally. I ain't gonna lie, this is a message I can get behind, goddammit. She said that's ugly phobic. <laughs> well, he said that. It is ugly phobic, man. You don't want to date a dude that's under 6'2", that's short phobic. What do you mean by that? You don't want to date a dude that don't make six figures, that's broke phobic. Nah, man, we about to level the playing field. Put some respect on ugly dudes, man. I have been saying this for years, but I promise it's true. I don't know if men are born with this or if it gets implanted in them at an early age. I don't know. I don't know. As soon as you start doing good, as soon as you start doing good, as soon as soon as you start, I promise, you start eating again, you going back to the gym, you're not crying all day no more, you're not looking at his Instagram no more, you ain't even checked it, it's not even in your recent searches no more. You're good, you're good. Something in their head notifies them of that. Got him, we got him. She's getting there, it's time to go back and mess it up again. I promise, bro, I promise they know. Yes, sister, some men just wanna watch the world burn. No motive. No reasoning. They just want to see you be mad. It is what it is. City boy. Oh, but for real, BBL girls, like y'all should really humble yourself because my brothers and my my man friends told me that a lot of y'all be stinking. <laughs> no come for the messenger. I'm just saying. They said that y'all don't. I don't know if y'all don't know how to reach to your butt, like butthole. Nasty. But they say y'all be kind of smelly, so y'all need to check up on that. Y'all need to, you know. Because I believe them. <laughs> and they say y'all don't know how to take the D. This what they saying though. I don't, me personally, I don't know. Do not shoot the messenger. Damn, I ain't know the BBL stink, but listen, they don't look all that good. Especially if you're walking around looking like Tiny. God didn't give you a big booty for a reason. He already knew you didn't know how to act as you are. And then you're going to go and get a big booty and now you really don't know how to act. Come on, man. Leave him alone. They blowing up right in front of people's faces on stage and stuff like that, guys. Stop it. It's played out at this point.
I know people think I'm joking when I say this, but I truly am never going to get into a relationship ever again because of how sick and twisted these men are these days. This man DM'd me on Instagram and asked if he could send me money for dinner because he thought I was pretty and I politely declined. But this man is my age, 26 years old, good looking. I found his Facebook, I found his LinkedIn, great job, normal dude. If I saw him out in real life, I'd be like, damn, that man is hot. I wanna go talk to him. But he asked if I could send him a pair of my stinky underwear. This thing you doing right here, that's gonna cause a problem. You need to fix that. And then I just left him on red cause what the f And then he proceeded to damn me more and asked if he could beg me for things like a good little boy. And I was like, is this some weird thing you have? And he said, yes, like I love being put in my place. Oh man. Uh... Damn. And I was just like, what the f what happened to you? I dead ass asked him, what happened to you for this to be a kink? And he said, I've had so much sex that nothing satisfies me anymore. Sir, you're 26 years old. How does nothing satisfy you anymore? That's weird. Dating is just so scary because you truly will never know who someone actually is. They could be a freak like that and you would, you would never know. You would never find out. I think and dating apps and hookup culture and just like sex being so accessible has ruined our society and it's so scary it makes me never want to get married or have children and bring children into this kind of world like i this experience that just happened in my dms just freaked me out so much that i'm like so turned off from trusting anyone ever again oh uh, yeah you dudes gotta be stopped what the hell is wrong with y'all bro y'all willing to risk it all for some stinky draws bro she showed this to your employer is over for you. She showed this to your friends. You're going to be embarrassed for the rest of your life, man. Y'all don't be thinking things through. This like sending an unsolicited eggplant picture or something like that, dog. Y'all got to stop being desperate. Listen, I will forever be against baby mama culture as a young black American woman because that disease is something that affects my community the most. And for those of you who like to come into my comments and believe that marriage does not matter, I swear to God, I really want y'all to just run into a brick wall super fast and just pass out. Why are you running? Y'all make me sick. Like, oh my God. I, oh my God. You cannot sit here and tell me that marriage doesn't matter or marriage doesn't have an effect when 75% of black children are raised in single parent households. Oh, I'm sorry, fatherless homes. Let's just call it what it is and one out of four black women are only to get married. That is a big problem because what affects you the most more than race, more than economic class, more than education is whether or not there is a father present in the household. I don't know why that is so hard for y'all to comprehend, but it matters. And as a woman with no children, the best gift that I can give my kids is a father who actually wanted them. As a father who was legally committed to their mother in the household present raising our children together under one roof there is nothing cute about giving a man a child who didn't think that you were good enough to give a ring to and for those of you who still like to believe that marriage is just a piece of paper marriage doesn't matter i'm going to end that conversation today do you all remember the movie diary of a mad black woman and when charles got shot and he was god awful to his wife helen but he was with the mistress and when he got shot the mistress wanted to cut off like charles life support but Helen wanted to save him and she could and she had the right to do that because she was legally his wife. So that just goes to show when real life issues occur, nobody is looking for anybody but the wife. His wife is the only person who can make those type of calls. Not the baby mama, not the longtime girlfriend, not the mistress, his wife. The person that he got down on one knee to, the person that he went to the altar in front of God in a community and vowed his life to is the person who was only allowed to handle his affairs. The wife is the only one who gets acknowledged. If you wanna be on this man's obituary known as his special friend, that's your business. You want to be the only one in the household who has the same last name but you're the outsider that's your business but i am here i will forever keep my foot on you all's necks as black american women make these men commit to you our community relies on it 
check this out what she just said is 100 percent correct man you know that's the problem with the black community man we got a lot of people running around here who never had no fathers in the home so they was missing the other half of the puzzle they didn't understand how to control their emotions by seeing masculine energy around they didn't see a man loving their mother they didn't see a man loving their sisters they didn't see a man loving their brothers they didn't see how men and boys supposed to interact how a healthy dynamic of a woman and man was they didn't see none of that so the lead the blind is leading the blind out here today shorty was 100 correct on this one dog she had her stats her facts and everything bro this is just what we want all women to know this is it we just really would like for the majority of we would like for the majority of women to understand what she just said and that would make the world a better place bye have a great time